Joshua, <laughs> it's been brought to my attention that in one of our previous episodes, I may have been drunk, and I did not boo you a single time. So guess what? Tonight, Extra booze. Tonight, all your jokes are getting booze from me, dog. Oops, all booze. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all booze. Just in time for Halloween. Hell yeah. Um, Really funny that when you have extra booze, there's less booze. Boo. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what if I only make like amazing jokes? I'm just on top Still of my fucking you. game today. Oh, God. That's so Anytime I laugh in this pod, if it's a, jo- if it's a Josh... If it's a joke that Christian makes, you can keep it in. But if it's a joke that Josh makes, cut it. If I laugh, Josh makes a joke, cut it. We can't have any jokes from Josh that I laugh to. So cut the joke or no, cut, cut you me laughing? laughing? Sorry. Or should, cut the joke and leave you laughing in. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Judges, a weekly podcast where we react to funny stories on Reddit and judge people. My name is Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And we are The, the Judges. Welcome back. What a great time to be alive. Name one bad thing that's happened. In um, all of time or Yeah. Um the Holocaust? Okay, so that wasn't now, so like Good time to be alive. alive. Hey, Josh is onto something here. Sure, yeah, cool. It's called selective memory. (laughs) How's your guys' week go? Well, I got flowers delivered to me at work this week. Oh, Christian bought you flowers? No, absolutely not. No, he's never delivered flowers to me at work. That's simp actions. (laughs) I would never. Never been, never given flowers at work by him. It's fine. I just hold. Let's before you drag me. And just let the bus run right over me. Drag him, sis. There's a lot of logistics that goes into getting flowers delivered to work, right? No, there's not. That's definitely a rom-com thing that doesn't happen, right? What are you talking about? Literally, it just happened to me yesterday, so oh, yeah. I know that it's easier said than done. Well, All you have to do is call the flower place and say, I need you to deliver these flowers to Erica, my wife, my beautiful, lovely wife that works so hard and is terrible and having a terrible time at work right now. She really needs these flowers. And all you have to do Sir, is- sir, please calm down. I can't get all that on the note that's over the character <laughs> limit. <laughs> I'm just saying, all you have to do is call the place and say, deliver these flowers at this time I just to this feel person. Like, I and just they feel like do it. Christian's more like socially conscious conscious than that and doesn't want to send like another like uh a uh, worker into a workplace with unfamiliar people and have a chance of exposure with like the pandemic. Shut the fuck up. Josh gets it. Shut the fuck up. Josh gets it. The so only hard. thing that is saving you right now is every time he buys me flowers, they come with like dirty cards. Mm-hmm. And I love. Yeah, you gotta it. wash those cards, man. No, no, no. Yeah, like, I normally pick it up after work, so it's like my hands are still kind of dirty from work, and it's. No. If, well, if I go home and like clean my hands first and then go get the flowers, the flower source closed already. So it's mm-hmm. like, they get you dirty cards. My bad, dude. <laughs> okay. I should have said not safe for work cards. They're sexual. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got flowers delivered to me. <laughs> um, I got flowers delivered to me from a school that I helped with a COVID situation, and it was really nice of them. And they said, we know people suck, but at least you don't. Wow. <laughs> Jokes on them. They don't know. Jokes on them, dude. <laughs> they definitely Friggin suck. She frickin' sucks so hard, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking of sucking so hard, uh, we got DM'd a nice little review. Oh, yeah. This person definitely thinks we suck. DM'd review for years. I've struggled with erectile dysfunction. <laughs> How are you already breaking? I forgot. I forgot about this one. <laughs> I read it a while ago. No, read the review, not what you told your doctor. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. <laughs> for years, I've struggled with erectile dysfunction. Whether it was performance anxiety or a medical blood flow issue, my inability to get hard, get a hard on has both defined who I am as a person and what? filled me with a deep-seated insecurity that no amount of therapy could dampen. 
However, a few weeks ago, I learned about a podcast called The Judges. I figured a few friends sitting around a table reading crazy stories from the internet would be an entertaining distraction on a long commute or just something to space out while I started, <laughs> while I stared disappointed at my inert, flaccid member. Never could I have guessed On that. On the train? <laughs> yeah. Well, never could I have guessed the impact this podcast would have on my life. After listening to the first episode, I felt an unfamiliar warmth in my pants, but didn't think much of it. After a, th- after a three-episode binge, the amount of blood that rushed into my trousers actually caused functional brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense why he thinks our uh, podcast, podcast is, is so good. good. <laughs> Gave- <laughs> it's so bad. I gave him a stroke. He's like, I think I like this. <laughs> With just one episode of the judges a week, I now experience regular, almost preaptic erections, and I've never been happier. My outlook on life has changed entirely, and my failing engagement is now back on track. I can't thank Christian, Eric, and Josh enough for all they've done for me and my one sluggish inchworm. Um, so Christian definitely wrote so, this, right? Sorry. Because uh, he said his name first. I was laughing too much. Let me do the last... <laughs> <laughs> what? No I've way! I found out. First off, we know I'm not this good with words, you fools. That's true. Let me read the last two sentences here. I guess it's true what they say. Laughter really is the best medicine. It's such a good review. Yeah. Thank you thanks, to so whoever wrote that. that. So there you go. Like, we're all Definitely about homeopathic Christian. remedies here. So get. We'll you help you issues. get hard. I guess. Put it on while you're banging. I would do it like 30 minutes before banging. That way you get some blood flowing. And then leave it on while you're banging. That way you don't actually mm-hmm. finish too quick or something. It's like you can yeah. hear my voice like really just get you through, <laughs> through yeah. it. If there's one thing we are a hard stance on, it's that we are pro-homeopathic remedies. Mm-hmm. Well, Take hydroxychloroquine. 100%, 100%. Inject bleach. <laughs> Please don't do that. To our um, listeners that might believe that and might be vulnerable, don't do that. Josh was joking. Boo this man. Or is he? He's better be. You're a man of science, no, we're Joshua. Totally joking. Wink wink. Um well Christian, I was gonna do a Chris or that. I really want to do a Chris what? or that. Yeah, why are we I decided against it because I couldn't leave you up to potentially throwing away good stories. So we're just doing four stories that I've tailored to you. Not right. like you as a person, but I just think you'd think they're fucking hilarious. Yeah, no. And a I lot of these that. have very few upvotes. Like, <laughs> one of them only has like nine upvotes. So there's like a 0% chance you've seen them, so I'm pretty happy about it. <clears throat> How did you get this deep into it that you found these? You see, when energy is low, I don't have work to do. So I am on Reddit. About seven hours of my seven and a half hour work day, minus the hour of lunch. <laughs> I see a lot of really not good posts on Reddit. <laughs> I read a lot of just complete garbage. It's real bad. I see a lot of real bad stuff. Um, I miss the days when there wasn't a pandemic and I was not just, busy at work. You just watched Netflix at work. I did. Granted, I straight I've done up that did. Too. <laughs> straight up watched like all of Mrs. Maisel. The first season, I just watched I that that's straight at work. Amazon Prime. It is Amazon Prime, but so that's not actually Netflix. But I mean, I watched other nice shows. Nice try. On I'm just saying. Poser. I missed the days. When Poser. I went, shut the fuck up. I missed the days <laughs> that I didn't have a pandemic and could actually fuck off at work. Mm. Not so much anymore. It's pretty rough in public health right now. But at now. least you're getting flowers. Oh yeah, that did make me feel a lot better, actually. Let's you know that he Christian, cares. take <laughs> notes. No, it makes up for all the Netflix you're not getting to watch is a single bouquet of flowers. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. All right, well, let's get into this first story. This is from r slash r slash relationship advice titled, I was an asshole to my dad today. I, 17 male, was an asshole to my dad, 60 male, today. I'm really sorry I did that. He was just pretending to be boxing, to connect with me, since I'm, quote, angry with him. How do you think my brat-ass brain reacted? 
now it's justified if you actually hit. So I did. I let my rage out. What the fuck? He smiled and walked away, but I saw it hurt, and that hurt me. Now I don't know how to say sorry. I have way too much pride. Why can't I just break my stubbornness? I want him as my dad. When I was five or six, he would bring me butter and honey on bread. When I was, <laughs> it's weird. It stopped weird at six. Food, right? It stopped at six. It's like no more of that. The dad even realized, like, this is a weird fucking snack. I ain't doing this anymore. <laughs> I don't know. That's all three macros: carbs, fats, and sugars. That's Shut smart. Up. Or carbs, fats, and uh, no protein. Never mind. Only two macros. Um, when I was playing stupid internet game, oh. That was the sentence. When I was five or six, he would bring me butter and honey on bread when I was playing stupid internet games. <laughs> Addictinggames.com with honey Just fingers. The, flash game. the flash WASD game. keys covered in stickiness. Stop <laughs> distracting me, Dad. I'm trying to play fancy pants. <laughs> you know it's not honey on those keys. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. That's the video he was watching when it happened. I wasn't getting sticky keys only when I pushed shift five times too fast. (laughs) Boo! (laughs) That one made me smile, but I didn't laugh, and you still get a boo. Slight sidetrack. What the fuck is the point of sticky keys? What is the point of sticky keys? (laughs) just there to piss you off, right? Yeah, it's just to fuck up your day. There's no way you meant to push shifts five times in a row. Why else? Did somebody accidentally ever push shift five times in a row and emailed Bill Gates and like, hey, man, you got to fix this issue. (laughs) We got to figure this out right away. All right. He would bring me walnuts so that I would be tall when I grew up. (laughs) What the? (laughs) What? I feed you walnuts so you grow like tree. (laughs) I give walnuts, you grow tree. Uh, It worked. I'm the tallest in the family. (laughs) I'm 5'7". I'm the tallest in the family now. (laughs) I'm way taller than a walnut. <laughs> Definitely due to the walnuts and not genetics. How would he, or he would take me to woods? He would take me to woods and we would hike for hours. My feet would hurt a lot in the end, but I was still happy. And now I'm all grown up and he doesn't know how to deal with my teenager ass at all. Yes, he might be homophobic, but I can't blame huh? him, can I? He was yes. born in a very religious family in a hostile environment in the 60s. I should be more understanding. Wait, so Mm -mm. wait, is is this kid saying he's gay? When I'll have a boyfriend, I won't tell him and that's it. His homophobia isn't affecting me now. Why did I even Mm. throw a tantrum over this? He might embarrass me in social situations or he can come off as rude sometimes, but he loves me. They are not intentional. (sighs) I'm so stupid. He's depressed. My mother told me recently that he told her that he'd die alone as his children don't love her. (sighs) This is such an insane story. No, dad. I love you. He's sitting on the couch scrolling his phone right now. He thinks I hate him. I wish I could break my stubbornness and connect with him. I wish I wasn't this stubborn. I wish I could tell him that. I wish I could tell him that I love him. He's literally sitting right next to you. Just fucking say it out loud. I wish he understood his mistakes too. I promise I'm going to fix this in a week. I promise. I In will. a week. Do we have an update? Can you help me fix this and give small tips to close the distance between us? <laughs> I I really set a really tight deadline here. I only got a week. Please, any advice would really do. <laughs> uh, Christian, how much older is your dad than you? Thirty six years. Okay, so this is forty three. So we were close. We were close. Uh, you're tall. Did you eat walnuts? <laughs> is this you? Is this? Nah, my family can't afford walnuts. Aren't they really expensive? All nuts are expensive. Not these nuts, I was going to make the joke. Damn. They're expensive on the environment. Ah, yes. Um, Yeah, I think it's... What are the chances that this dad was trying to beat his son straight? I don't know. And he's been gaslit into thinking that it was loving. (laughs) I mean... Is this like a little... Just like a little like... Papa, like a little nudging you in the side, you're like oh, we're boxing, or is this like slight, like the light fighting that you do that turns like as a kid, you know, you do this, you're like huh, I punch you, and then you punch me, and then like eventually you get mad and you punch harder and harder until somebody's like, that didn't hurt you, but I'm fucking going home, all right? <laughs> um, there is a long edit, so I can read that too. Let's hear it, dude. Did he fix it in a week? Edit. I fixed it in a week. <laughs> um, edit. 
I think I gave the impression that my father is a good parent when I wrote this. It was when I was overwhelmed with emotions. They're He's not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just end it there. He's not. I mean, if you had to go back to when you were six to bring up when he <laughs> used memories. to bring you <laughs> honey, <laughs> bread, butter, and walnuts. <laughs> And now he's homophobic. He skipped from bread to being homophobic. Remember when he was nice to me when I was five to, to him being homophobic? There are some clashes between me and him, and he never takes responsibility for his mistakes. Uh, let me explain. He never cooked food when my mom left to work abroad. My uncle got colon cancer, so he prohibited us from eating anything but vegetables and meat. Me and my sister are seriously underweight and have eating disorders, so we wouldn't eat when my mother came back and started to cook. My parents don't believe that eating disorders and depression are real problems, so they won't get us therapy, even though I'm super insecure about my body. Also, he's so scared that we will also get cancer, since he thinks sugary food is what gave my uncle the cancer, and he believes being underweight is being better. He believes that being underweight is better than being normal weight, but eating unhealthily. He, all, he actually cares about us. It's just the way he doesn't understand how the whole thing affects my mental health, and he won't communicate with me on this issue. The second problem. <laughs> that was only one problem. <laughs> on top of the fact that he's homophobic. <laughs> the second problem is that last year he made us move into this two home, two-roomed hellhole with no kitchen. Because this house is school's property and state gives permission to principal and his family to live there out of charge. He's a principal? <laughs> Yeah. He's a principal to a school, that, but his house doesn't have a kitchen? We've been living here. For, maybe they use the teacher's lounge? Or like maybe the cafeteria. Maybe they use like the cafeteria. That makes more sense. You know, that place where food, get, food gets cooked. <laughs> um, we've been living here for a year, but my father says it's temporary until we buy a house, even though we definitely can't afford staying in a normal apartment. At March, the walls were vomiting thousands of ants, if not millions. There are spiders, moths, lizard, lizards, they are actually cute, everywhere. I mean, everywhere. And he knew that I hate bugs. Here's he did thing. it. He moved into an <laughs> insect-infested house just to spite me. Did he actually write that? No, not that part. Okay. He needs to start collecting the lizards. If he thinks they're cute anyways, collect lizards, they'll eat the bugs. Problem True. solved. The lizards are only there because of the bugs. And what yeah, do bugs I... eat? Food. Cut out food in your life. No, no bugs. Cancer. <laughs> no cancer. No cancer. No lizards, which is sad face, but also kind of happy face. I couldn't study or do anything. I had planned it all. No one had any privacy, and my father has been keeping us in this situation. He never listens. I want to have a dad, and I get so emotional when I think about how happy I was when I was a small child. My mother is very angry about the situation as well, and I think they're going to get divorced. I wish I had a normal family. I get so jealous when I watch TV series in which there are caring fathers. Don't we all, brother? In this situation, I don't, I don't think talking to my dad or preparing honey on bread will help. Dude, what if it all it took was honey on bread and it just fucking fixed everything? The number like... one, The number one comment? Make him toast with butter and honey and say I love you unexpectedly. I'm sure he would be so happy. He would just fucking nut right there. And then he would have post-nut clarity. And he'd be like, Jimmy, food doesn't cause cancer. Jimmy, I used to make you bread with honey and butter ten years ago. How'd you remember? How'd you remember, Jimmy? I thought that was a thing of our past. The honey was stunting your growth, so I gave you walnuts to counteract the honey. It's just... Just, I, I get it now, Jimmy. I get it. You think boys are hot. <laughs> I'm cool with that, too, now. <laughs> the, the honey and the butter did it, <laughs> Jimmy. If only it was that easy, huh? Oh, man. What a insane That insane was a story. real roller coaster. <laughs> roller coaster. <laughs> like... As soon as you think it couldn't get worse, just, oh, yeah, also he's homophobic. And also he malnourished us our whole life. <laughs> and, it, well, and it started off just being like, I got into a play fight with my dad and I took it a little too far because I'm like a shitty teenager. And then it's just like, oh, but my dad had it coming. But also like. Maybe he didn't. I'm kind of a dick. 
But also, like, my dad's even worse than I said the first time. But he does love us, but also... He doesn't? <laughs> maybe he doesn't. Here's the problem. The dad's a principal. He can't turn it off when he gets home. He's Based his... on his principles? Ooh. Ricky? Ricky? I'll give welcome. you a boo without the B. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> boo. <laughs> All right, then you're getting the B. Oob. Boo. <laughs> that one got me, but still boo. Um. Okay. So I feel like I didn't relate to that one that much, Josh. I'll see. Honestly, I'll see this next Christian's one. dad is fabulous. No, I didn't say that you would relate to him. I just thought the ones I know you would find hilarious. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I did think that one was really good, so... <laughs> Yeah, Glenn's the best. We love Glenn. I would be too terrified to box my dad. He would, oh, Glenn would fuck you up. He would crush up. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one, 11 upvotes. You ready? It's an r slash unpopular opinion. You shouldn't have a wedding registry or ask for money. <laughs> I mean, I guess... There's always the question about if it's polite to ask for money as a wedding gift or to have a registry. A registry. Or a registry. That's a, a wedding, wedding registry. registry. Sure. Neither. Don't ask for gifts. In fact, this ask for no gifts. Stop been, it. This person's Stop never for been gift. married. Ask for no gifts. Let me, okay. I have... I got to say something. <laughs> this person writing this post has got to be a broke-ass person that refuses or is pissed that she has to he or she has to or they has to buy a wedding present for somebody spoiler alert i looked into their post history they're currently engaged to be wed and their venue cost over ten thousand dollars <laughs> they're rich ass motherfuckers <sighs> not that a wedding venue costing ten thousand dollars is that big of a deal but the fact that they cost ten thousand dollars and they're just like you shouldn't need money to pay for that at all anyway back to the post Sorry. Yeah, I'm either. I'm on like it's either. I mean, you obviously give a little spoiler there, but it's like they're either someone that came from like a low like wealth family, and they're just like don't even worry about getting me gifts. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not that you or they're rich it. enough to not need gifts. The whole point of a registry is people want to give you stuff. So here is a list of things that we either need or want that you can give us. And we're not going to return it later mm -hmm. or think like that was a stupid fucking gift. Yeah. Which we wouldn't anyway because we're always very grateful for gifts. But that's the whole point. Like you don't have to give a gift or give money. But except, like. Except you, Darren. That is. Your gift was a piece of shit. Darren. That was Give us tradition. our fucking receipt. You How piece dare of shit. you? How Boo. dare you? You're not, you're not invited to when we renew our vows, Darren. <laughs> Can we do that? Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, back yeah, to the post. Like Fifty years. <laughs> People who are getting married are adults who think they're stable enough to have a committed relationship and make it legal. If they want to throw a big party, great. I also think they should pay for it themselves, but that's another opinion. But they shouldn't then expect to be compensated for throwing a good party with lots of gifts. Just be glad everyone went out of their way to get dressed up and celebrate with you. These days, couples getting married are normally already stable and have all the basics you would traditionally get at weddings, so getting cookware isn't likely to be that useful. And if you wouldn't expect your guests to give you gifts normally, why is it different for a wedding? It just makes the guests feel awkward about how much to give, and if you're expecting gifts or money, then you only have the opportunity to be disappointed. Better to ask for nothing, like a grown-up. And if your great auntie ignores that and gets you a little something anyway, that's a bonus, isn't it? I do understand in some cultures that the guests give money to basically pay back the cost of their food and the couples get back what they spent, which is slightly better. But if everyone stopped, then it would be the same outcome. All the money you save on going to other people's weddings can be used to pay for yours. It's safer that way because you can't guarantee how much you'd get back, so you should only spend what you can actually afford anyway. This person's a stingy bitch, Erica. Mm -hmm. You're so right. <laughs> yeah, I know. She, she, I usually am. In this person's ideal world... A marriage is just like two people going to a place and getting married. <laughs> like, yeah. m maybe not everybody at a wedding, but like, for instance, your guys' wedding, I was happy to spend money on like a suit and a gift and everything because yeah. I wanted to see you guys get married mm -hmm. and I know how expensive it was. So it's like, I can chip in a little bit. 
this person just must not have friends that she's happy for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Like this is this is the Scrooge of weddings. Yeah, this person was this person was crazy. Here's and this is the thing, it's I'm stingy. And I agree with like some of the things where nowadays a lot of marriages you're normally like you've already moved in with each other. You already have like the essentials to have a home. But it is nice to be like, well, I have shitty cookware. Like, I have my fucking college cookware, so it'd be nice to get a nicer set. Or, like, and this was something we had to deal with where it's like, we've been I'm, together for 10 years. We've moved, well, we've lived together for five. I'm very bad at, like, saying I want a gift. Yes. Oh and God, so it's like, are. when we're setting up our wedding registry, it's like, well, I don't need, we have a vacuum. Why would I put a vacuum yeah, on my wedding registry? We've got registry? everything we need. Honestly, we we had a really hard time putting together a registry, but also it was like, I guess we're, we're renovating our kitchen, so we'll just get new kitchen stuff that helps us with the cost. But most newlyweds are fucking broke. Well, and and they need help establishing a life. And if you're their friends and family, this is a great opportunity to celebrate somebody's life and love together and show your gratitude for that what's really great is this person's clearly just seeing it from like if she's getting married um she's seeing it from her point of view of like this is my sphere and like this is my situation for my wedding and like i don't need gifts so it must yeah. be true for everybody yep. when there's so many cultures that have like arranged marriages or like like you're saying like people get married and they have us combined eighty thousand dollars in student debt loans and like mm-hmm. they couldn't they're still using the the silverware from their college days like yeah and like what an insane and like she even like she said like her on her venue she's spending ten thousand dollars like it'd be most people don't have ten thousand dollars just to throw around so it's not a bad gesture but just to throw a thing. couple hundred okay, well, dollars if we're gonna just get rid of the wedding registry and like not expect guests to do whatever then why are you throwing a party yeah you're not throwing the wedding reception and the wedding for yourself, really. You're doing that for your friends and family mm-hmm. to be there to celebrate your love. Why else are you doing it? You could literally, if the whole point—it's the gifts. It's it's yeah. the gifts. It's not because <laughs> As... you you don't always get back what you put in. I mean, our no, wedding you never you never no. Will. It's it's the blackout and it's the gifts. That's what you're paying all the money for for a wedding don't get me wrong i loved our wedding i had a blast i think most people that attended our wedding had a really good time and i'm glad that we did it did it i have no regrets about it but we did it for our friends and family right the whole point of the whole day was for us to be married at the end of it and we could have done that for 35 dollars at, at the courthouse and instead we spent a shit ton of money on a party that we had fun at i don't ex- i didn't expect well, people to give us anything in return but like that's Kind of the whole point. And to be fair, it was that much money because you did sign a contract with the devil that said this is going to be the only fun day of 2020. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we want this to be the greatest day of 2020. And <laughs> it was. Way too literal. <laughs> Erica at the rehearsal dinner held up her glass and said, to the greatest day of this year, so help me fucking God. If it's not, I will burn the earth down. And you know what? <laughs> it came true. <laughs> yeah. Because after that, what? How many days after that? It was like three weeks after that was when I think everyone shut down. Two weeks after. Yeah, it was like. Because it was the second to last week in February. February. Mm-hmm. And we all shut down like mid March. Yeah, we got married February 22nd. And then the first case in our county was like March two weeks later. Or something. Yeah, it was That's like. That's fucking awesome. <clears throat> yeah, it was literally like. If the wedding was the next weekend, it would be like, Ooh, should all these people be here? I was nervous. I was nervous the day of. Like, we had people flying in from all over the country. Like, our friends are very spread out. And everybody was coughing. That's no, no, they were not. Everybody said, like, I think season. the food was good, but I couldn't really taste anything. That's not funny. <laughs> oh my God, your roses, your flowers, and your bouquet, and the, uh, Corsages and boutonnieres would they would all smell so good? I think (laughs) I couldn't (laughs) tell. Maybe. (laughs) Yeah, no. That's because we got fake ones. (laughs) They were much cheaper than real ones. They're all fake flowers, and like, oh no, you must just have this weird COVID thing. (laughs) It'll blow over. (laughs) It's no big deal. 
It'll it'll be hang on nothing in a couple of weeks. And your wedding was in a Freemason's temple. It was. Hang on. Did you guys secretly do a br- blood pact? Did we? <laughs> All right. We the might be part of the know. New World Order, but like, <laughs> don't tell anybody. But like, we started the New World, so like, <laughs> that's good. You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> hey. We had to get rid of Trump somehow, so <laughs> we it didn't did it. work. <laughs> Not yet. Go out and vote. <laughs> uh, you guys held your wedding to that way you could see record amounts of voting in twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it was a selfish sacrifice. It was. I, I applaud you. Hey guys, remember remember our wedding and how much fun we had? This could really be your whole life. We could have this much fun all the time. Just fucking vote Trump out of office. You see how everybody paid roughly the same amount of money to get dressed up and you go somewhere and there's free services and food provided to everybody? Hmm. Socialism works, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone's like spies, like like the people walking around with like trays of like appetizers <laughs> and shit just walk up and like uh communism is good thank you just like <laughs> thank giving you. drinks around like everything's red themed <laughs> i haven't booed you in a while while i agree with you i have to boo you because it's i made a i made a comment earlier okay, uh, let me just make a bad joke real quick and then you can boo me unironically okay um your writing was good no uh <laughs> have you guys heard of uh goodwill's biggest competitor no, what is it? The Salvation it's Army? A, no, it, Even worse? No, it's not the Salvation Army. It's a fish made out of a tree. Yeah, it's a wood gill. Man, that doesn't even like... <sighs> I feel like I'm wasting a boo because that was so bad. It was so... And we're going to go to a break before you can boo me. Bye! Boo! <laughs> Hang on, we can't talk about revelations when we literally talked about the world ending. Oh. Um, I met Leviticus. <laughs> huh? No, another and person. And <laughs> we're back. No booze on this half of the episode. Oh, only booze. Get it? Because we're drinking. <laughs> Oops, all booze. There's been a mix-up at the at the Laugh Factory. They made a package that's Oops, oh all God. booze. Boo. <laughs> Laugh Factory isn't even an actual comedy club. Yeah, I know. I'm not... Stupid, it's Josh. It's not an actual comedy club? It is. Okay. Anyway. Um, Got another one for us? Or are we doing a circle jerge? We'll do a quick circle jerge at the request of my Goyle f- friend, Aurora. It's an embarrassing story, guys. <laughs> I love embarrassing stories. Have you guys, you guys don't watch football. There's something called a butt fumble. Very embarrassing play. This is going to be called the butt grumble. You'll see why. <laughs> Boo. You just made me burp and laugh at the same time. That was such a weird sensation. <laughs> so, backstory. A little bit of exposition. The fastest way down a set of carpeted stairs. Actually, the fastest way down in general is to fall. Let gravity take the wheel. Right? Sure. So, I'm sure we've all done it as kids. You see a nice set of stairs. You sit down, you plop your big old round cheeks at the top step, spread your legs out straight, and you slide down them bad boys, right? Mm-hmm. A quick f- 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 Right. Yeah. I like doing that. I got carpeted stairs at home. They're nice and soft and plushy on my bum. Do you do it when nobody's here? Sometimes. <laughs> Before we go much further, do you go up the stairs, like all four, like to do it quicker? If I'm in a hurry, yes. I'm okay. still young and spry enough to do that. <laughs> Although you know. my brother at my parents' house, uh, we were probably we were teenagers, but at the top of my parents' stairs, very steep stairs, carpeted. At the top, it has like a 90 degree turn to get into the hallway, and then the hallway is very thin, so it's another 90 degree turn to get like going straight in the hallway. We had a big TV that used to sit on the like one of the big ones that sat on the floor at the top, so the hallway was put, cut down to like maybe two feet wide at the very top of the stairs he goes running up the stairs all fours top turn slips busts his fucking face on the tv <laughs> <laughs> um anyway back to the story so wait i also have to tell you i got a concussion doing that exact same thing From running up the stairs on all four yes it's i dangerous folks was at my grandma's You're house defying gravity 
It's... She had a door at the bottom of the stairs. She shut it behind me as I was going up, and I, on all fours, was like hopping up the steps, and I tripped at the very what a top. Unique... A unique technique. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped at the top and I like rolled down the stairs, like somersaulted backwards down the stairs, and I smoked my head off the back of my head off the door. There's still a hole in the, in the door to this it's... day. Spent the night in the hospital and everything. Wow, it's, wa- it's wild that you still made it to the judges to record this week. <laughs> <laughs> You're not funny. This happened like 20. This years happened ago. like 36 hours ago. <laughs> um. So yeah, so I'll sometimes at my house I've got a carpeted stair. I'll slide on my bum down the stairs. Now, I was getting drunk with some friends this year, and we were at a cabin, and there was wooded stairs. I was pretty drunk. I decided this will be fun and cool. Slid down the stairs, right? <laughs> they'll, they'll really be impressed by me. <laughs> so you slide down the stairs right into this big opening of the of like a room. I had a nice big. Uh, they were all playing cards, so of course they weren't looking, and so they just hear, bum, 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 bum. and then I come down and I'm just standing there because then I made a very clean dismount. Ten out of ten, I would have won the goddamn silver at least. <laughs> that wouldn't be ten out of ten then, because that would have got you gold. Well, if somebody else gets ten out of ten, but they got a fatter dumpy, they're gonna get the gold. So a fatter this is how, dumpy than this you. This is how the Olympics works. <laughs> Fattest dumpy, you get a plus one. There's a reason why score. they call it the Olympics because they're the ones judging. Mm, so mm. Uh, I'm gonna interject with a boo. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just get into the next story. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so I go down, fum 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 fum, fum <laughs> and look over there, expecting to be appreciated just wow they just all are just a round of applause and immediately they turn around someone goes did you fall down the stairs and i'm like no i slid down them and they're like oh that's a real good cover for falling down the stairs and i was like no guys (laughs) guys listen it's the fastest way downstairs and i fucking nailed it it's crazy did you not see the dismount (laughs) you got all 10 of them to try it and be on your side by the end i was like that really was (laughs) <laughs> the fastest, fastest I've way. ever gone downstairs. <laughs> so, drunk Josh, hubris and all, <laughs> holding a a cool bush in my hands, go back up to the top of the stairs and do it again. Now, the technique not quite as good on the second run. I should have quit while I was ahead. <laughs> my ego did not let me. I slide down rough. Definitely fucking bruise my tailbone, and as I dismount, stumble, spill my beer. <laughs> Not happy. They all look at me like I'm a fucking idiot because I am. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Bill's beer spilling on the floor. And look, I've done this many times. When I spill a beer, I think it's funnier just to sometimes let it spill. Because it's just like, whatever, man. You got to clean up beer anyway. They're all yelling at me for just staring at the b- beer rightfully so did you just like pour it out no it was still on just the ground one, okay. just one for the homies like, like... I, I dropped the beer okay, <laughs> okay. all right that makes oh, sense yeah, no. no i don't just like invert my hand and like oh what am i doing <laughs> whoops and you just kept pouring it out. <laughs> that's what i was imagining i'm sorry no. i honestly was imagining like oh you spilled a little bit and you're like oh, i gotta clean it up anyway dump <laughs> <laughs> that would be way funnier this no. beer is wasted anyways <laughs> just as I, hit, as I hit the fourth from bottom stair, the last stair that you hit with the bum, it dropped out of my hand because it, I was in pain. What an expert. That is really the last stair you hit. <laughs> fourth from On bottom? the third stair, you prepare your Yeah, you, it's, you like when you ju- your it's like when you're jumping off a swing and you move your right arm into inside of the, of the, the chain. Oh, yeah. Because you're getting fucking ready to <laughs> yup. That statement like completely painted the picture in my head. <laughs> you guys, I just want you to know, listeners, we're gonna we're gonna reenact this. No, okay, so we're gonna reenact this after we're done recording. Speaking of reenacting it, Aurora... I might put it on our Instagram live. You'll find out later. <laughs> Aurora was over, is a couple weeks ago, and I had a bruised tailbone for like two weeks. It really fucking hurt. Real bad. Aurora, I need you to look into my ass. So Don't tell me if I have a bruise. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Aurora, I need some butt stuff real quick. I, I just got to relieve some pressure. <laughs> I wish that was the story I could tell. I wish that was the tale I could weave. Alas. The tale? Tis not. The tale. 
the tail <laughs> is much more black and blue than that. It is not black and white. So I got bruised tailbone. We're going downstairs. And I look at her in the eyes and I say, watch this. I think I just told I think I just told her the whole story that I had just and I was like, I'll show you how I did it. <laughs> now still <laughs> So I still got a bruised tailbone and I start sliding and I've got two handrails because the person who lived here before was an old lady. So she's got two handrails going down. So proper technique implies that you hold both handrails so that way you can govern your speed. (laughs) There's a lot of science in the technique of butt slides. All right. So I'm holding, (laughs) so I'm holding both governors. And I start sliding, only it really fucking hurts. <laughs> and if you know me, which some of our listeners do, if you know me very well. I'm crying. I'm a gassy man. I fart a lot, all right? <laughs> and sometimes they come out at inopportune moments. So as I'm sliding, instead of the fum, 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 fum of my bum on the goddamn stair, it was the plop, 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 plop of my ass coming out gas coming out my derriere and because i was in so much pain i immediately bailed and pivoted to roll onto my stomach to stop myself (laughs) meaning i am locked (laughs) dead eyes with my new girlfriend (laughs) farting (laughs) in pain (laughs) dejected and less of a man (laughs) So, <laughs> so that's the story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you didn't pay Joshua. it. Joshua, so bad. <laughs> To be fair, I did get down those first six steps with extreme velocity. (laughs) The speed unparalleled. The fart might have helped. (laughs) It gave me an air cushion. There's less friction going on. Yeah. Oh, buddy. The first thing I have to say to that. (laughs) Boo. Obviously. Of course. (laughs) It wasn't even funny. (laughs) I would have said booty, but that's fine. Boo again, because <laughs> boo on that joke. It got me, but boo. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to reenact this for the listeners. How's your tailbone feeling? Now I'm fine. It's been a few. You months. knocked it back in place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it was that simple, I would have done it a long time ago. Oh, I don't even care if you read another story. That was that was it. I'm done. <laughs> I guess that was my own personal today. I fucked up. Oh God. Man. <laughs> Just one, one, just one final fart in the face to the end. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, uh, got me good. All right. Well, let's shift the judginess to somebody else. <clears throat> <laughs> one of my favorite subreddits. You guys oh, know it. You guys hold love on, it. Hold on. Are you ever gonna try to? Are you gonna ever try to slide in front of her again to like prove? I'll do it Pro- tonight. Prove I can do it. I'll Prove fucking you. do it right now. I'm not upset. I'm not afraid. I'll just fart before. I'll go I'll go, go to the bathroom, and I'll go fart in the bathroom, and then I'll go to the stair. All right. One of my favorite subreddits. You guys love it. You guys love to hate it, and you hate to love it. R slash love. Titled, I don't know if I have to mark this as not safe for work, but my female 23 boyfriend, male 24, just fucked the living shit out of me, and oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Here we I'm go. I'm in love now. <laughs> Mark does not say for work. That was a long title. So, my boyfriend and I just had sex. We usually always are relaxed sex type of people. What does that even... Just like... Only like vanilla, just, or... Just, just cowgirl, or what? Whatever's comfortable, honestly. It's like... 
it's whatever. I like baggy pants. We just Maybe gyrate a blanket. Next, we gyrate next to each other. If something goes in somewhere, that's fine. <laughs> Boo. We usually always are the relaxed sex type of people, but today we just went the fuck at it. We had rough sex, doggy style, and it was fucking glorious. We both oh came. God. Did she actually spell it like that? Glorious. Well, she's capital G space capital L space. Okay. We both came, and I just laid there like, wow, my legs, homegirls are numb. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Have a good night, Reddit peeps. That's it. <laughs> Hope That's you guys. It. Are... That's it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little nugget at the end here. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are getting some tonight. If not, I got enough for both of us. Peace sign, kissy face emoji. P.S. Don't forget the P after sex, or you'll get a USB. <laughs> a USB. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> For, top comment what size usb like 32 gigabytes because i can benefit from that <laughs> so uh, who sends that does it just come in the mail or just U- usbs <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> just shows up. oh i almost spit my drink out boo adam and usb sends it to you in a discreet package boo man <sighs> she really just gonna dunk on the whole world like that so there is a there's a Facebook group called The Pleasury. Okay. And um Is that like the treasury but for sex? It is all sex stories. So, let me pull it up. It's going to be all from women cuz y'all are filthy. It is absolutely all women. We you should can, do an episode. Dudes on are it. like, yo, I had sex the other day and it was awesome. And that's where it ends and women are just like he fucking spit in my mouth, pulled my hair. <laughs> And then I put down the book that I was reading and had <laughs> mundane sex with my husband. Then I had really just relaxed sex. It was like sweatpants and a light blanket. So like this this group, I mean, there's a lot of female empowerment. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of memes. There is a lot of really dirty memes. This one is um, Lisa Simpson, and she's got like her eyes barely open. Like she's very annoyed. And it says, dick feel different when you don't love a motherfucker no more. Feel like it gets smaller. <laughs> Damn. But there's like all sorts of shit like that. But people That's will... cold blooded. Oh god. Men would crumble if they saw that meme. It's so will. cold blooded. That's Listen probably why one. his dicks feel smaller, because it's cold. Listen to this one. Did you come? Yeah, to my senses, pass me my eyelashes. I'm leaving. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, but there is like sometimes there's people like, I just had the best sex of my life. I've been with my man for twenty five years and he's never fucked me like this. So glad I met my pool boy, George. <laughs> like, oh some of this God. shit's wild. Uh, but, yeah, there, we're going to have to read some of these sometimes, because there is there is some good ones. But, yeah, The Pleasury is a, is a Facebook group. Uh, we can keep going, because I can just cut this last story. It's not that funny, if you want. Oh, like, you want me to read some more from The Pleasury? Yeah, why don't you just read some more from The Pleasury? we got a few minutes to kill here. All right, well, let me find... There's a lot of memes, so... <laughs> Some of them are only. Oh. And of course, ball. Erica, you don't relate to any of these. All right. So here's Wait, what? <laughs> here's a random one that I just stumbled upon. Okay. So real talk. How do you guys deal with sexual attraction to other people when you're in a committed re- relationship? I have been in a relationship for five years and I am in love with this man, but often find myself attracted to other people or even fascinating about that, fantasizing about them. I was wondering what you cool kids do about this lustful feeling, and then other women will like comment on it. Yeah, you just fuck them and then don't tell your husband, or you do and say, "What are you gonna do? Leave me?" The best thing oh, you, that's ever you happened to you. Cry and leave me, little <laughs> fucking baby. Yeah. yeah. So there's posts like that that are like looking for relationship advice or sex advice or just straight up like saying, "I had the best sex of my life," or there's. There are screenshots of some lady posted on on Facebook. Attention customers, do not buy this item. I am trying to get it recalled because this dildo gets way too hot and burned my anus. Mm-hmm. Repeat, do not plug this dildo in because it does not vibrate. It burns you. <laughs> it's a fucking curling iron. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't, I'm not kidding. I didn't see that one coming. 
it's it's technically a curling wand. Yeah. Look oh. At that. I mean, it does look like a dildo for sure. What brand? But I it, get. It what got brand? Air on it. Like, what do you mean? What like, brand vibrator did you get? Conair. It's, uh... it's Revlon. <laughs> at first, I was like, well, you probably just don't use it plugged in. It's probably like battery. <laughs> it's just like hot from charging the battery up. Yeah. Because that, like, I don't know if you've ever like. Used a vibrator phone. while it was plugged in. I, yeah, I don't know if you've ever used a, your vibrator while you're charging it, but it gets kind of hot, and your your yeah. anal tissue is very sensitive. Yeah, I always say the easiest tissue to burn is your ass. <laughs> I always burn your ass. Boo. Um, I mean that's true. You your butthole can get really sunburnt really easily. Have you not heard of butthole sunning? Who was the celebrity that just burnt his asshole? My dad used to do that to me, but that was a different thing, I feel like. <laughs> Boo. Um, <laughs> some celebrity was just like, oh, I heard of butthole son to old, increase old your, like... Timothy guy, what's his name? Timothy Oliphant? No. Timothy <laughs> Chalamet? No, Tim Le- Timothy oh, Oliphant, Oliphant is a person. Isn't the Oliphant the big things in Lord of the Rings? Elephant. Oliphant? I think it might be Oliphant. Spelt the same way? Probably. Yeah. Who? I never thought I'd be stunned and side by side... <laughs> Uh, shooting an elephant. I don't know. I can't think of a good way to make that meme into something Joshua, about using a dildo in your ass. I never thought I'd be standing side by side with an elf with a vibrator up my ass. <laughs> what about side by side with a friend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there. This is this is a good one. We'll we'll come back to this one. Absolutely. Well, next episode, boys and gals and non-binary people. Billy really just have a whole titty out. <laughs> How would they get that on Facebook? <laughs> the pleasure has no rules. Oh my! That is a picture on Facebook with a lady just with her whole titty out. You didn't even read the thing. So she's sitting on a bus. <laughs> she's got a tank top on. Her titties popped out, and she's just looking out the window all chill. Mm-hmm. It says, "Me, my crush is walking this way. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> my friend, just act act casual." Be chill and sh- okay, okay, and the titty's just out. It's funny. Oh, ma'am, your titty do be hanging out though. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, next episode, episode <laughs> twenty-one. Wait, I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you boys will appreciate it. You think Chewbacca had a human dick or one of those red rocket things like dogs have? <laughs> oh fuck! George Lucas won't respond to my email. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the thing: is that George Lucas no longer owns it, so he, they really need to be emailing Disney for an answer. Um, it's sort of like in like in the Sims, you make Whoopi, and in, in the Star Wars world, you make Wookie. So, well, that's incorrect. The Sims is Woohoo! You absolute you fool. dumb idiot! Have you ever played the game? I. How about you go try to slide down the stairs on your fucking head? Maybe I'm knock some sense into yourself. Resigning. I've embarrassed myself beyond belief. Um, well, next episode, <laughs> episode 21, little special trick or treat for you. I'm going to release the day before Halloween on the 30th of October, and we're going to get real fucked up. We're going to do a power hour. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a special guest on, and we are going to read spooky, scary some stories, spooky. maybe Ooh. some creepy pasta. Maybe some two sentence horror stories. Maybe we'll r slash no we sleep. We will get to very drunk. No uh, promises on the audio quality or the episode quality, but <laughs> it'll be a learning experience for all of us. Episode, it's our twenty first episode. It's our 21st birthday. It's the judge's 21st birthday. So we're doing something special. We're going to have fun with it. We hope you guys have fun with it. You know, um, what? You know what? Guys, drink along with us probably. Um... <laughs> I don't think we should technically say <laughs> we should not <laughs> drink water along with you... us. Make sure you get hydrated. <laughs> Especially if you listen to this podcast on your drive to work. <laughs> if, you're, if you're drinking responsibly, of course, have fun. Drink with us. Maybe play it at a Halloween party. Be like, Ooh, hey, I got spooky. this cool new fun fucking podcast we can all listen to. I know to. we're having like fun hanging out with real friends, but like, here's a couple online friends. <laughs> here's three people you don't know <laughs> talking about stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely share the um, podcast with your friends. Share it with your family. Uh, I always say it's never too early to buy a Christmas present. And the best way to buy a Christmas present is to give someone something for free. And that's a recommendation for a podcast. So tell everybody in you that you know 
but listen to our podcast, share it. That's at Judgy's Pod. Uh, our every social media, Twitter, Instagram. Those are the only two. Uh, oh, why you're not even gonna spell it? J U D G I E S Pod. Um, Thank you. Just so you guys know, Pod is spelled P O D. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, like the just best band you. ever. And Christian, <clears throat> where can they email us? In you could actually email us like if you wanted to for any reason email us at judgespod at gmail.com and it's spelled the same way josh spelt it actually it's so crazy all right cool and erica if they like our podcast what should they do um subscribe and turn on notifications for when we get new episodes if that's a thing i'm not sure i just heard that on like a youtube video once um and also share it with your friends and um Make like Orion's belt and leave a three star review. <laughs> really piss us off. Or <clears throat> a five star review. And if you do and you leave a review, we'll uh read it on the pod. Be like a, we said earlier. Be like, a big we... bear of yourself and leave an Ursa Major. Five star review. Oh my god. Boo. All right, we gotta end it now before Josh makes any more terrible jokes. Oh, also you said follow us on Instagram, nope, but we're, we're, we're about to go live on our Instagram story to see Josh and Christian <laughs> scooting down the stairs. So, with a beer in hand. With the beer in hand. The governor's embraced with one hand because we'll be holding a beer in the other. And they always say the gubernatorial race is one of the most important races. Gubernatorial. Gubernatorial. So. You absolute fool. You absolute ghoul. Boo. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Wow. Bye.